Hello again, and uh, I decided to make another video. I just finished making my video uh, having an overview and introduction into CRM 2011 reports. Now I'm going to focus on Business Contact Manager reports, or BCM for short. Um, I'm going to be using a deployment on my machine here that contains some sample data from Microsoft, and I'm going to show you the very similar way in which BCM and CRM have a relationship uh, when it comes to creating reports. Now. BCM has also a great report utility, very similar to CRM's, um, and Microsoft really got it good with reports when it came to these products. So let's get to it. Uh, in BCM, as you see, as, as all Microsoft products are, we have the ribbon up here, uh, and under the ribbon, we have the tab reports. So let's go into reports and get a quick business contact list, and watch this report giving me all these business contacts. So you'll see here they're in different states, uh, there's different data for all of them. So the, the key in conditioning these reports is the filter. Uh, let's say I only want business contacts whose state is, let's say, Florida. I'm going to go into the filter, and I'm going to go into the advanced filter where all of my conditions are, and I'm going to say, show me only the contacts that reside in the state of Florida. So let's pick a uh, state from our list, and it should be under business state. Uh, where is it? Right here. And we're going to say we want it to be equal to. Now you can also omit things. You could say does not equal to Florida, and it'll show you everything but Florida. I mean, this is just samples of conditions. These are all the conditions that you have available to you. Uh, and I'm going to, for example, say show me only contacts that are in Florida. Now notice the second I fill in the compare to field. I get an additional condition and I can actually say show me only Florida and show me Washington or New York. Um, I can ac also use the or feature. Um, I could say show me something that equals this or equals that. So in this case I'm just going to use the Florida um, address and you'll see here my report filtered and now my report contains only two companies uh, or two contacts rather that belong in Florida. Um, notice their zip codes also begin with five, so let's have more fun with this. Let's go back into the filter and let's say the business zip code begins with five. And notice how many people came up and I'm going to sort, sort it by zip code. Look how wonderful this is. You can actually sort everything just by clicking on the column name. Adding columns is also so easy. Let's say you want you want additional fields in this report. Just click on Choose Column, head over to the Custom Columns section, and the way this um, BCM is programmed, um, we'll be able to just check what columns you want in there. So all your custom fields are going to be in here, and you're just going to be able to select and add custom fields as they come. You can even move around things and swish them around. Uh, for example, I'll move a mobile phone over to the end, and I can just with one click export this to Excel. So what I'm trying to, to introduce to people here is the fact that you have the ability to have all your contacts, all your business contacts with custom fields and another thing that's cool about the report I forgot to mention is if you double click on one of the entries of this report it's gonna open their profile and I can make a change to it anywhere in their uh, in their contact form and that change will dynamically impact my report it would either remove something from the report or add something to the report so if I want to see only people in Florida and I change someone or someone in my company happens to change the state to something else, it will not show on that list uh, and vice versa. So this is great for collaboration, working on reports. You can give a big task to a bunch of people and, and narrow it down uh, and you could filter certain and, and different criteria and the conditions is very great uh, in this software. And you'll see it's, it's much like uh, CRM. CRM uh, tells you when you begin a report what entity do you want to run the report against. In this case you can only do it against accounts, business contacts, leads, opportunities, uh, and marketing projects and tasks. So you have a whole different look actually in BCM than CRM. A lot of people prefer BCM because it's, it's a lot easier on the eyes. Um, it's also less complex. I mean, when I install these things it's, it's not that difficult. Uh, from a design perspective and a report perspective, once you create a report, you can save it, and all your reports will be saved in their um, their parental areas. For example, if I create a report about my contacts, it will be saved under business contacts. Uh, and I see under accounts over here, they created a report already called vendors by city. So this is a sample report Microsoft had built 
uh, and let me look at the filter and see how they figure how did they create the filter for this city it looks like they selected it here as a matter of fact it looked like they just sorted it because that that's really what it came down to um, so I'm, I'm actually willing to help people out and and building these reports and if you need a fresh deployment of BCM I can also assist you with it uh, remember in order to have business contact manager you must have Microsoft Office professional edition uh, licensed and ready to go it must be legit it cannot be hacked cracked or anything like that it must be an official version directly from Microsoft uh, and BCM adds axon as an add-on and if properly configured uh, it can run uh, it can run amazing. It is such a wonderful uh, uh, thing to have. Um, imagine having your, even if this is connected to Exchange right now, or just my server, for example. I have an Exchange server at work, and I'm using my personal uh, domain here, Danger Studio. And you'll see even what pop, and it works really good in conjunction, conjunction with um, Business Contact Manager. So it's a quick little overview over, over uh, reports, and um, notice that you, you can pretty much create uh, reports based on anything um, and you can cross-reference reports which is really really good uh, and really good for uh, companies so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions you can always feel free to contact me I'm over at dangerstudio.com um, where we work with this stuff all day every day thank you for watching